Hey everybody, it's Rick from Born to Fish BC and it's mid-April and with mid-April that means it's the kickoff of the spring sturgeon fishing season. You know, we're very lucky and we get out and we have an opportunity to catch a bunch of fish, but when we come back to the dock, sometimes we run into people that are, you know, pretty new to the fishery and they don't always have the best success and we get to talking and they're always surprised by the different types of bait that we use. So it got me thinking and I thought I would take a few minutes and just just do a real basic Fraser River sturgeon um, bait uh, tactic video. So I'm going to talk about the top four baits that I use. Basically the four that I use are Chumro, Lamprey, Ooligan, and Salmon. So let's talk a little bit about how you prepare Chumro. So you take the time in the fall and you catch some fresh chum and uh, some fresh chum row. That's the best way for you to acquire your bait. Uh, if you can't do that, then you can take the time and contact Rob at Rob's Baits. He's got a great supply of good quality chum row. I find that of all of the store uh, row that you can buy, it's very good. Um, but we're very fortunate we put the time in and we get our own row. So what I'm gonna do is just take a few minutes and show you um, how to prepare the chum row for fishing. So I'm going to take some time and I'm going to show you how to prepare a chum row in a chum row bait bag for sturgeon fishing. Uh, a couple things that you need to make this happen is you need some nylons. Uh, there's lots of different stuff that you can use to make these bags, but I use uh, ladies nylons and ultra sheer. And you also need some magic thread. So once you have your good quality chum row, you take your skein and you cut a small piece off. It doesn't have to be a huge piece, just a small piece kind of like that, it fills the center of your hand and then you take your nylons, you slip it over your hands like so you take the row, you place it in there you wrap the nylons around the row you give it a little bit of a twist then you take your magic thread and you go 12 or 13 times around the sack then I like to take my scissors and I just cut it loose like that. So there's a single chum row bait bag ready to fish. I like to thaw my chum row the night before and take the time before the trip to tie up all my bait bags. Just make sure you keep them refrigerated during the evening so that they stay nice and fresh. Okay, now as far as how you set up the chum row to fish, you've got your pre prepared bag. And what I like to do is I like to take the hook and I pierce the row four times kind of in quarters around the outside of the bag and what I find that that does is it starts to leach some of that chum row scent and then I just take the hook and I go through and I just set it up like that real simple but recently I've started piercing the outside of the bag and I find that it really helps leach that uh, chum row scent down the river and it's been working really well Okay, so what's our second favorite bait to fish for sturgeon? A lot of you might not know this, but lamprey is very productive. Um, lamprey is basically an eel, and it looks like this. And um, they're naturally occurring in the Fraser River, and sturgeon just love them. So they're not hard to come by. Uh, most of your better tackle shops have them. We get all of our lamprey from Rob's Baits, and Rob has been gracious enough to provide us with a lamprey uh, for the filming of the video today. And so I'm just gonna show you how to run a lamprey. There's lots of ways you can do it. I've seen guides run whole lamprey. I've seen guides run half lamprey, but um, you know, they can be expensive. So I like to just fish about inch chunks, and I'll show you how I prepare those. So normally, I would just do this with a pair of scissors, but I have uh, my North Arm knife with me today, so it'll make it nice and easy. So I'm just going to cut off a section of the lamprey, about that big. And that's it. That's all you need. You don't need to fish a bigger piece than that. And then I take my 8 or 9 knot owner hook, and I just run the hook through the middle of the lamprey and out the back. And that's it. And the nice thing about fishing lamprey is you can pretty much, 
it's super hardy and you can you can use it and fish it a lot but after it's been soaked for you know an hour or extended period of time you know it loses its its scent and loses its effectiveness so we've been using this product here which is again from Rob's Baits which is lamprey oil and so what we do when that chunk of lamprey has been uh, down and it starts to kind of get a gray look to it you can tell that it's you know it's losing its blood and it's getting kind of pale well we just take a little bit of the lamprey oil and what I do is I squeeze it in the inside of the lamprey and then I coat the outside with the lamprey oil when I throw it down it's super fresh and we usually get bites really really quickly so not only should you you know always have a, a good quality lamprey with you is you should pick up a um, a container of this lamprey oil it works really really well we've been using it for two seasons now and I wouldn't go on a trip without it in my boat super super good product a third bait that we don't fish a lot I don't spend a, a lot of time fishing uh, ooligans but there is a time in the in the year when ooligans are present in the Fraser River there's a big ooligan run that comes up and the sturgeon um, key in on them and and they eat them so around that time it's super important to have some hooligan on board and I brought some of that with me and I'll show you how we rig that up too so I just take a, a fresh piece of hooligan and I just cut it in about an inch piece like so and just like I did with the lamprey I'm gonna take the hooligan and take the hook and just run it through the center and come out the back okay and I'm going to send that down. The last bait that we use, and this is kind of a match your hatch thing, so there are certain periods of time when there are certain species of salmon in the river, and during those times the sturgeon kind of strap on the feed bag and uh, focus on the dead carcasses that are coming down the river with that run. A uh, good example can be sockeye season. Um, not that you know we're catching and retaining sockeye but when you can uh, during the pink run um, you'll find that sturgeon really are uh, feeding on the pink carcass carcasses chum salmon and of course Chinook salmon so today I have to use just for example an old piece of uh, Chinook salmon that we had in the freezer that uh, went off and I'm just going to use it for uh, purposes of showing how we would run a piece of salmon on a hook. So I have a fillet here and I'm just going to cut off the tail section like so. And then I'm going to cut down the middle of the fillet so that I have almost a triangular piece of meat like this. Okay. And then I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to go through the skin first like so and out through the flesh just like that okay and I'm gonna to toss that out and that's gonna lie on the bottom just like that okay and I also like to run strips of meat and I'll show you how we set those up so you just take your fillet and just cut a nice strip of meat off the fillet like so and then you can just run that with your hook you can go through the flesh side or the skin side first and we'll send that down okay so there's a look at our favorite you know our top four favorite uh, sturgeon baits there are other baits that can be effective and it all depends on whether you have access to them I know a lot of guides like to use worms we don't spend a lot of time fishing worms uh, I know a lot of guys like to fish uh, caught pike minnow uh, and that can be very effective um, but we kind of stick to those four basic baits when we go now over and above that um, sometimes it uh, helps to add a little scent and we talked a little bit about the lamprey oil but believe it or not what's very effective when you're fishing for sturgeon is garlic scent and you can garlic scent your ooligans you can garlic scent your salmon flesh and you can get that in a Berkeley gulp like what we have here which is available in a spray or 
You can also get garlic in a, a sticky gel like, like what we have here, this Lunker, Lunker Lotion. Um, just be careful not to get it on anything because it's super, super concentrated. And um, we find that when we're trying to get a bite going and, you know, the usual traditional bait isn't working for whatever reason, you know, maybe the sturgeon are full, they've had lots to eat, you know, they're, it takes something a little extra to get them to bite and we throw the, the garlic out and that really works. So there you have it, our top four favorite baits that we like to use for sturgeon fishing in the Fraser River. Um, I'm Rick Clark, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view this video. If you can, take the time and subscribe. We're gonna try and do more videos like this this year.